Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, Today, I'm super excited to bring uh, two guests on that uh, I I just recently met. Uh, They're great people, and they hail from the land of Australia. I have Adonis and Mercy. Hello. Hi. I'm Adonis. And I'm (laughs) Mercy. Um, Adonis and Mercy are sex workers and also a couple. Uh, and today I really wanted to sit down and talk to them about, uh, what it's like to be a sex worker, what it, like, what are some of the things that they have to deal with, positive and negative, uh, not only doing their jobs, but also being a couple doing, uh, said job, because, uh, I know a lot of people out there think it's impossible to maintain a relationship while you are a sex worker. Um, so just let's, let's start off with that. Um, do you like, what is it like? Did you, how did you guys meet? Did you guys meet while you both were doing sex work? Um, I know you guys are, uh, you're also wrestlers, right? Or at least I know Adonis well, is. I'm, I'm, I'm the wrestler. <laughs> I'm too small to wrestler. <laughs> so we actually met on Tinder. Fine. Good old Tinder. Nice. And I wasn't, like, classed really as a sex worker or anything. I'd done little things here and there, but nothing, um, like, to be deemed as sex work. Um, I had a few things in the past that would pop up. That's about it. But Mercy was and still is a full-time sex worker. Yeah. Um, I've been a sex worker for four years now. Um, I've done, like, modeling, like, adult modeling, um, I've, like, dabbled in being a sugar baby, but nothing really crazy, but that was, like, when I first started. Mm-hmm. Um, and for the most part, I've just been, like, a adult streamer and making content, like, I guess, pornography and okay. modeling. Cool. So, Good old Tinder. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with meeting... Now... Uh, I know Tinder is super like accessible. It makes it makes dating so much easier for a lot of people, um, and I'm sure being a sex worker it, it affords you the availability to uh, find people without having to. Uh, I don't know. I, I maybe maybe I, I, I it's a personal thing because I used to do it when I did stuff, and then I used Tinder. A lot of people. Um, I was able to ease them into the idea of me being a sex worker because let, let, let's face it, when people go to start a relationship and they do that kind of line of work, a lot of people feel uncomfortable being in a relationship yeah. with someone who essentially sells sex and, you know, it, it can be difficult. Yeah, I mean, like I was pretty nervous bringing it up, like I made it pretty clear from the start about like what I did and I was like, oh, well here's my socials, mm-hmm. see what I do, see how you feel. I don't, like, I um, don't do escorting or anything, and I have, like, no judgment whatsoever uh, with people who do. It's just not my line of work. But, like, you know, I still engage with women for my job. Like, I film with other women, and I still stream and talk to, like, men on the internet, which mm-hmm. is part of what I do. So it can be kind of daunting to, like, a guy that's just met someone and they're probably going to not feel like they're a priority at the start. Right. Um, now, uh, Adonis, what what was it like meeting some... Like, have you ever dated sex workers before? Was it awkward at first? Um, did it make you feel uncomfortable? Or are you one of those people that are incredibly comfortable and confident in your sexuality and your performance that it wouldn't make you feel any sort of uh, self-confidence issue? Um, I definitely didn't have much of an issue going into it. Like, my ex-previous was a stripper, so I had, like, some sort of, you know, I guess I dabbled in a relationship with, you know, a little bit of sex work, but nothing too crazy in the past. But um, she was, like, very open from the get-go. And when we first started sort of just seeing each other and whatnot, it wasn't really a thing that bothered me 
like at all because like you know we practice safe sex and that sort of stuff and you know we knew what we we're doing was clean and safe and i knew she was like not you know going around all the time and being dirty or anything like that you know she was right. being very safe with her work and very clean with her work all right yeah and i think that's uh something that people tend to um kind of blood proportion or portion or miss uh, uh I misunderstand is uh, one not all sex workers are actually physically having sex with other people because we have the invention of the internet and we have things like Chatterbait and uh, gosh there's so many different sites that you can promote sex work now on um, and um, that that that's there's a lot of stigmas that go along with uh, being a sex worker and having a relationship. And uh, Mercy, what like have you encountered some of those things? Have you had bad issues with relationships? Have you had to um, defend your position as a sex worker and um, essentially tell little weeby men that have penis envy issues to fuck off? Uh, yeah, a lot. Um, I actually, um, used to be in a very long-term relationship previous to Adonis, um, and we, towards, like, the last couple of years, we were open, or I guess, like, polyamorous to a degree, um, but that was a result of, uh, my ex-partner being very insecure and, uh, essentially neglecting me in regards to, like, sex life and romantic interaction it was more just like they kind of uh made me feel ashamed of feeling confident in my work and doing well and being successful because it didn't involve them and right um because like uh they thought that i was essentially like quote unquote whoring myself out um when i wasn't physically being with anyone until the subject was approached on my behalf about wanting to film with women mm -hmm. um you know and um, wanting to branch out and build my business and I, you know completely respected boundaries and you know if someone says no then I respect them. but it was more just like they were very insecure and didn't want me to do anything and essentially was telling me I had to uh quit my job if I wanted to be with them and that that's that's not how that works and it's definitely uh messed up no. to, yeah it's it's definitely messed up to tell someone to give up their livelihood to be in a relationship with you like uh like not only does that sound incredibly sexist but like also it, it's just like it, a sex work is a job just like any others and exactly. the this idea that doing sex work makes you dirty or like so, like it's just these outrageous ideas of like oh it, it she must be a prostitute she must do a bunch of drugs she she must have a lot of men that follow her around she must use people she must not be genuine about like her feelings you know all these things and um it's ridiculous because sex workers are just like you or I who want to have a normal relationship, have, uh, you know, a normal life. They just do something uh, for money that is slightly different and unconventional. Um, yeah. And um, like it, um, it definitely like, yeah, I, I don't know. At the end of the day, like I'm very happy being in my relationship and, I don't, I'm not wanting anything more. I don't seek out other people. I don't really want to, like, you know, all yeah. my feelings are genuine and I'm a genuine person. Um, at the end of the day, like, my job is my job and I have to put on a, a persona, kind of. Um, well, I am myself, but I'm just a high, hyper energetic, hypersexual version of myself. And, like, it's different to how I feel about my partner, you know, or my feelings and my intimate yeah. interaction with women. I, uh, I feel you there. When I was doing sex work myself, I had a problem in my, my relationships because they were like, how come you don't act like you do when you're on camera? I'm like, well, that's kind of a different persona I'm 
projecting. I'm, I'm trying to entertain people. I'm not, I'm not trying to entertain you in bed. I'm trying to like, you know, yeah. like how I am personally with someone like is much more intimate, much more, uh, you know, uh, there's there's much more feeling and emotion involved in it and also i'm not like i'm not someone who's like i don't know it's it's just a very different like person and saying that like i'm not saying like it's drastically different from my personality i'm saying that there are things that i have heightened about my personality things that i've highlighted like uh you know my my ability to to laugh and smile and giggle at stupid shit like I don't do that normally um, you know yeah <laughs> um, I just kind of like learn to laugh at everything and be super happy and super energetic and sexy all at the same time right <laughs> um and, and I think it helped with me coming from like a performing background with wrestling and such an entertainment heavy background that I understood the same aspect where it was like, I know when she's working, it is essentially putting on a show, just like I do for wrestling fans. So. Right, and that's that's a good point. You both essentially work in the entertainment business, so you guys have almost a baseline understanding of each other's jobs and what it takes to do those said jobs. Um, because you put yourself kind of on the line physically as well, Adonis. Um, yeah. Especially, like, my character is a hypersexual character as well. Like, I do have a PG version of myself for kids' shows, but we do have 18-plus shows where I've, like, you know, the match has pretty much been less about wrestling, more about me and another dude trying to fuck but not to fuck. <laughs> gotcha. That's, that's an interesting one. I've never heard of that one in wrestling. 